just untied the last line. Necessarily down below, we're all set to go forward. <sighs> Up here in my spot. And away we go. Whoop. Ah. Typical with all great adventures, it's got to start out with some issue at the beginning. If a fouled line is my biggest problem, I'm off to a great start. Pulling out of the slip for the first time, leaving Sandusky, Ohio on my new to me boat, my 1974 Cal 229. I bought this boat for $2,000, had to do a minimal amount of work to get it fixed up ready for the trip. And here we go, pulling out of the bay for the very first time. Got to loosen up the line for the dinghy to make around this pole here. And here we go, folks. The adventure of a lifetime starting right here. That rattling you hear is actually the boarding ladder and the uh, propane griddle on the back rattling around. There they settle down. This is Deepwater Marina in Sandusky, Ohio. The folks here were really super to deal with. Really nice folks. The marina itself, kind of rough. Kind of rough. Steel docks, lots of snakes. But a great place to start my adventure from. Secure the dinghy so it can tow behind me. Here you go. Guess what kids, got all the jobs done, decided screw it, I'm leaving for Cleveland. Cloudy, overcast, probably going to get rained on today, but there's very little wind out here, not enough to sail by, but we need to get the motor a good warming up and testing out anyway, so away we go man. I am leaving for Cleveland, I am in route right now. I have left the marina behind me, it's back there someplace in my wake. And the, and the story really gets going now, kids. The story really gets going. God, I can't believe I'm doing this finally. Ha 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 
Uh, with that said, the engine's gonna break down, the sails are gonna tear, the sun's going to set, whatever. Yeah, all the doomsayers. Oh, look at the birds flying over my head. Hello, birdies. Don't poop on me. All right. I can't see if anybody's saying anything in the, in the chat. Just wanted to get on here briefly and let all you guys know that I'm sailing. I am out on the open sea well. I'm up out on Sandusky Bay, heading to Lake Erie. So right now I'm heading out here towards the channel. I'm in 12, 13 feet of water, which is fine with my five foot draft, just perfect. I'm doing about uh, five knots at about three quarter throttle. So uh, I could speed it up a little bit if I wanted to, probably get up to six, six and a half, but I'm doing great. Now the sun's burning through, probably gonna have to get some of that suntan lotion on me today. I got Miss Lily down below for a little bit with uh, it being new and whatever. I just want her to just chill out down there for a bit. I'm gonna bring her up on deck and, and tether her to her spot. And then she can be up on deck for a little while uh, and socialize and enjoy the view. But for right now, just too much to handle getting everything else done on the boat and getting ready to go. So got the head sail hung this morning. Of course, I put it up wrong the first time, had to drop it and put back up second time, but it's working now, furled beautifully, looks great. It's uh, it's yellow and orange. <laughs> the head, the uh, head sail's yellow and orange, big, bright, colorful thing. Uh, it's in a bag marked working jib, so that must be it. My other, my 150 apparently has to go onto the, um, <clears throat> onto the, uh, uh, inner, uh, the inner force stay which I uh, did not put on. I may, when I get to uh, Albany, I may put that on then, but I don't know, just might as well have options, so. But man, we're doing it, we're doing it. So anyhow, we'll have more for you later, kids. Just wanna get on it real quickly and say, Sayonara Sandusky. It is in my rear view mirror and I am heading across the lake, guys. Well, there you got a little behind the scenes of what it's like when I'm doing a live stream. Well, Lily, too, it's you and me, girl. I hope you do me right. You've been really good to me so far, that's for sure. What's my head? 30 degrees? 29, 28? 30, right at 30. I can scoot back. I got cable in my back. Have to figure out something more comfortable here. Well, here's a view of the lake. This is Lake Erie. I'm all the way down the bottom left-hand corner there in Sandusky Bay. <clears throat> These pins show the projected spots I'm gonna be stopping each night. First night, I'm gonna to go to Lorraine. I originally wanted to go to Cleveland, but wasn't gonna make it. Then Ashtabula from there, Erie, Pennsylvania, Dunkirk, New York, and on to Buffalo. It's 200 miles going across Lake Erie on a boat I've never tried before. <sighs> hey kids. Well, it's uh, 3.26 p.m. on Tuesday, my first night cruising, and I'm... Uh, I'm heading to Lorraine. I had to change direction a little bit and go to Lorraine. There's a great big storm coming up behind me, trying to catch me. In fact, I'm gonna get to Lorraine and have about 10 minutes to put down the anchor before the storm catches up to me, and it's gonna be a big, nasty one. So uh, instead of waiting uh, to go all the way to Cleveland, which would have left me out here for another, oh, three, four hours, means I would be underway and have to deal with that storm. I decided to go ahead and go to Lorraine and uh, anchor up there for tonight and uh, and take the win, take the win on my first day, I think. Because so far everything's been just, just perfect out here on the boat. Lily's doing fine, I'm doing fine. Got a little chilly now this afternoon. Wind, winds changed direction. The sun never really did come out much today. A little bit, but not as much as I'd hoped. So hopefully tomorrow will be a clearer day. But here's a little bit of a look-see what I'm dealing with. See, we got a little bit of blue sky out there in the distance, but just, uh, just a gray line. And when you get over here, over towards Lorraine, 
you almost can't tell where the water ends and the sky begins. So, kind of wild. So anyhow, kids, we'll have more for you here later. I just wanted to get a quick update in. Bye.